death though is a label that pays me. Ah, boo GPS, boo! There we go. All right. We got the old, the F3 right here. We'll record as much as we can of it. If we run out, we run out. I'll sum it up later. Vegas differences is it's a lot, really a stripped down version of the RT. More of the bagger, you could say. But you can get these with the trunk. And still got the, the front trunk on it, just like the just like the RT does, but it's not as big. As you can see, it's not as big. But, and that's what your trunk looks like. And you don't have the big, but you got a lot of, <laughs> got a lot of foot peg though. <laughs> ah. Ooh, I like that feel. How so much for battery power we got? Oh. Hmm. Oh, we'll see what he's doing here. So we are in gear. Let's see. Let's do a little. Might be having too much fun. Nah. Too much fun's not a thing. Too much fun is not a thing. Cool. That's cool. These are cool little machines. They very much are. You can say, oh, they're not a real motorcycle. Yeah, of course they're not. But who cares, right? Who the hell freaking cares? All right. Oh, okay. Eco and normal. So it's got some ride modes for you. Parking brake just like that. Parking brake off. Kind of like the fact that it's a push button as opposed to like a, a handle like on the Goldwing or something like that. I don't think these have a reverse. Pretty sure it don't. And here we go. Oh, I like... So I think what they're trying to get with this one kind of give you more of a little bit of a sportier feel. By the way, they brought in that gold wing. Those two antennas light up. I think it's pretty cool. They're like me in 30 years. <laughs> yeah, maybe 20. They're not that old. But yeah, this is the, like I said, the more sporty version. Maybe if you want more like the bagger style, if you could, if there's such a thing as a bagger style and in three wheelers. Oh, I'm putting my feet down. Uh-oh. Well, that's a bummer. Put this in front of the third design.
Now this one feels more like it's probably got a little bit more of a feel. Accessory so actually got a foot peg. Okay, that one's on loan from Rice's actually. I just love your fancy ways. So, can't you see? at the phone making entrance so back on up because you know I'm about to rip it up from first so I could bust like a bubble Compton and Long Beach together now you know we in trouble ain't nothing but a G thing baby do low down on so crazy death low is a label that pays me ah boo GPS boo not too bad of a feel for sure I gotta say, I kind of like the pegs better, but that's because I'm used to pegs. And I think it fits for this one. It doesn't seem like this one's as smooth with the shifts either as the RT is. These are a little bit more harsh with the shifts. Not too bad, but it's enough where you kind of notice it. If you're an F-150 owner with a 10-speed transmission, it may, get, may trigger your PTSD a little bit. It ain't bad, but it's enough that makes you think makes you think man that's a yep see you can kind of see it right there no that's a good setup man pretty cool no this is just fun I'm having fun with this If I haven't already told you about this, this is like my favorite part of the rally right here is test riding different bikes, different machines, feeling them out. Oh. oh dude, careful. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Not bad in fourth gear. Like for picking up and going, it's not too bad. Even when you're in the higher gear. There's a good amount of torque in this engine for sure. It might not be 131 screaming eagle torque, but it's got a decent amount of torque. Well, let's be honest, you're probably not buying one of these for racing anyway, so. As far as the wind goes, the wind ain't too bad. Even with it just, you know, I was kind of wondering with those little vents in it how bad the wind would be. The wind's actually pretty good. Not bad at all. Pretty fair, fair wind movement. It's probably, that says 72. I think it's probably closer to like 68. It is a pretty chilly day here, but... You know, running with my, you know, I got just a t-shirt underneath. This is the uh, the uh, Crazy Horse Edition Dixon Flannel. And I'm pretty comfortable right now. Like, I feel pretty good. I'm just about right. I thought about zipping up my vest, which I've got a, a textile vest on. I thought about zipping that up beforehand, but I'm glad I didn't. Because, like I said, the air isn't too bad here. 
Don't really get a lot of buffeting, anything like that. The little Riker. I'm telling you, you see more and more of these. By the way, there's a nice looking tractor right there. Right color, right brand. I'm an international harvester guy, what can I say? Actually, we can probably turn the... Because it wouldn't be a video without it saying, please say command. Ah, it's beautiful. I'm tempted when we get back to say, you know what, I want to take the Riker one more time. And just like that, I've inadvertently become a Can-Am brand ambassador. <laughs> hey, you know what, I'm up for all of it, man. <laughs> yeah, this is fun too. You kind of got kind of a definitely a cruiser feel on this one, you know. The Riker's got very much a scrambler feel. This has got a cruiser feel, and of course the RT there, that's got got you know a, a mid-80s Cadillac feel. <laughs> Although the suspension on this is very good as well. Like it's kind of got it's the same way as the RT is. You don't you can feel the road, but it's not uncomfortable. It's not bothersome. And they feel quite stable in the corners. I keep wanting to grab. You ain't got a front a handbrake, ding dong. <laughs> what can I say? Old habits die hard. I spend a lot of time in Boulder Canyon during the rally. But when all you do is test rides, <laughs> You spent a lot of time in Boulder Canyon. Beautiful place though. An underrated canyon as far as I'm concerned. Let's see how she does. Just Not too bad in sixth gear. Not too bad at torque in sixth gear. But it really kind of seems to like that, that about that 3300 and above, that's where it really kind of likes to be as far as the power and the revs go. It's a good day for a ride, man. Yeah, it's a little cloudy. Yeah, it's a little chilly, but you know what? I'll take this. It ain't raining. It ain't hailing. I'll take this. Now I already said I prefer heat, but if the options are heat and downpour and rain or fog, I'll take the heat every time. Now, if this is an available option, I'll accept this. This is all right, you know. High 60s, a few clouds in the sky. Well, not a few, a lot of clouds in the sky. Yeah, you can't ride in a t-shirt in this weather, but... When you kind of like to ride with at least, you know, the sleeves cover and everything else, like me, this is all right. This is where you like to be. Now I just need my cup holder here with some coffee in it. Then we'd be perfect. Then we just take this thing to Denver and be done with it. We'll see how I feel what time it is when I get back. I'm either gonna either gonna see about taking that Riker out one more time, just have a little more fun with it. Then I think we might head up Old Main Street, have a beer or two. And I think we'll be back at it tomorrow. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Yeah, we might go ride some Harleys, because why not? Because I kind of like riding Harleys. 
I like riding Harleys more than I do Indians. Someone lost their uh, funnel. Hate when that happens. Just out chill and all of a sudden, boom, there goes my funnel. Son of a biscuit. Yeah, now it's getting weird. <laughs> Carson, you've been here for a while. You know the truth. It always kind of gets weird around here. I got some, well, problems. <laughs> I think that's a nice way of saying it. We'll just say problems. Oh, I think my battery's about dying, so uh, yeah, get get out what I need to get out here quickly, because we'll be dead any second, but But yeah, I'd say with this one, the, the, here's the one problem with this RT, or this, no, R3, yeah. Here's the problem with this one, is it's kind of a, in my mind, I see the value of the Riker, for sure, because that one's just a fun bike, tear on, on, get you a little entry level. Oh, no, take that back. You know, this, if you don't want, like, the Riker as an entry level, but you want more of an entry level Can-Am, this would be all right for that. You know, if you really kind of like that that cruiser feel, the cruiser look. Now, I would figure, though, most of your Spider people, most of your people coming to Spiders are going to be either going for Rikers or they're going to be going for ST or for RTs. But I think there's a place for it. Like I said, I really think it's a, if you kind of want... Granted, this is going to run you a bit more. I think this these are like 22,000. That's the other downfall of them where you can get Rikers. The big the Riker Sport's like 12 grand. So it's a lot more entry level than these are. But I can see how these would be fun. And, and I think you get and you get this with a top box, you know, and in a way. Actually, I see another person that might want be more inclined to buy these are going to be people that are uh they don't want to spend the R RT money. They want to save a little bit on the R on the fancy RT. And I think this would be useful for it too. Also, this is a little bit lower to the ground, I think, than the RT. And like I said, you buy this with truck cancel. You buy this with a top box and you got damn near an RT. And hell, throw a trailer on it, and then you got your, you've made up for your missing uh, cargo space. Because, like I said, the trunk or the saddlebag or the panniers are about the same size. I think the trunk's a little smaller on this, and then the front is actually decently sized smaller than it is on the RT. I think we're going to get wet here. I think we're going to get wet. Well, I think we're going to just wrap this one up. I'd like to thank you for stopping by the Sodak Motorcycle Blog. Once again, I am your host, Clutch. We host weekly motorcycle videos. They come out every Thursday at 7 p.m. Mountain Time or 7 p.m. in Denver. But if you don't want to remember what time it is, you can hit that bell notification icon. When you subscribe to the Sodak Motorcycle Blog to be, to be reminded of future videos coming out or any other things coming out that I post on YouTube. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike this video, hit the dislike button. Feel free to leave a comment, but remember if you leave a comment, it'll probably get featured on the monthly series, Comments and Beer. That's where I answer all my comments. But anyways, for the Sodak Motorcycle Blog, I am Clutch. We'll see you later.